Oh goodness, what's up everybody? This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13 and today I've got Sharonda's Durango in the shop from New Jersey! Holy snap, that's a bit of a drive. So here's the story about this build. I did this build a little bit ago earlier in the year. I did a build video for it. It was a remote build. I did the build, I shipped it to her and we started having problems with that passenger side headlight getting moisture and condensation inside of it. I of course did not do the installation. A mechanic shop did the installation. I had to trust that. I don't like doing remote builds, but she brought it back to the mechanic shop. I had them inspect and look for leaks on the backside, maybe a gasket fell off, something like that. I had her take a hair dryer to the back of it, dry out the condensation, and then it kept coming back. So I could only conclude that, oh man, I actually might have screwed up the seal job around the outside. So I was telling her, you need to pull the headlight back out and send it down to me and I will reseal it. That's covered by warranty. It's very, very rare, but it does happen. In my career, I've had about two or three headlights that didn't take the seal properly. So rather than doing that, because that would have cost her a lot of money for the mechanic to remove the headlights and ship them down, there's downtime on the vehicle, yada yada, she decided to take a vacation to Florida, and I got one night with the truck to figure out why they were getting moisture in them, fix them, and also add a Blue Ghost controller to this vehicle, and also add these fog light halos down there. Now when I took apart the truck and I looked at the installation, oh my goodness, I realized I had to pull the entire setup out and redo it. I'm not going to be talking smack about the install here. All I'm going to do is say that I figured out I'm pretty sure why I know there was headlight getting in that housing and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the sealant. Regardless, I still opened up the headlight, scraped out the old sealant, packed in new stuff and resealed it and so it should be very good now, which is to imply that I was pretty sure it was good before but now I'm definitely sure it's good. And the other issue that I'm actually pretty sure is how the headlight was getting water in it, I have now resolved that as well, and that was definitely installation related. Regardless, I did basically a seven hour install on super crunch time, it's about 11 o'clock at night right now, she dropped it off around five, and I gotta go pick her up from her hotel room and get her back over here so she can get her car, get back with her kids, and get back on the road tomorrow, and she's headed further down south to join some family in lower Florida. So this has been been a very intense afternoon. Now that I've said the backstory, you'll understand why I am extremely happy to show you the fact that, oh my goodness, look at it, it works. This is Blue Ghost controlled. However, this is really important. I don't ever do builds like this. However, this was designed not to be working with Blue Ghost. It was using the next level Neo out of the box addressable LED controller. So all of these products that you've seen, there's three products. They are all running in parallel. They are not in series, so I cannot control the offsets, which is why the halos are chasing around the halos and the strips are chasing sideways, and they're not necessarily what you would call in sync. On the majority of modes that you're doing, you're not gonna notice, and you still have a super cool effect. Look at that. This is the slats mode. We can do, this is crossfire. Look at that. Are you gonna complain about that? No. That is super rad and sweet. However, I'm not here to show off the show modes on Blue Ghost because there are so many videos where you can see those in action. I'm just gonna show you what I did here. And now I'm gonna show you the startup and shutdown animation, which I tied into the DRL circuit on this. So anytime the ignition is on, these are gonna come on automatically with the truck and then turn off automatically with the truck. Whoa, it's scan sweep. All right, let's shut it down. Turn it off. That's just the good old run of the mill scan sweep with kind of like a purple running light color. And I'm gonna show you the turn signals now. And boom, there are the turn signals. It looks pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. And I'm happy that I knocked it out as fast as I could. As I say every time, the client will be able to tweak and change any of the settings and the colors and all that jazz. And so she's gonna have a lot of fun. I hope, you know, setting this thing up and making it her own. Okay, it's a late night and I wanna get home, so I'm gonna make this a short video. Pricing and product information will be in the video description. If you have any interest in a build for yourself, then go to my website and submit a build request on the form there. That information will also be located in the video description. I'm really hungry, I wanna go home for dinner. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you later. Bye.